The supplies you'll need are scissors, inkjet printable shrink paper, UV resin, E6000 glue, 10 millimeter buckle buttons, a UV curing light, an inkjet printer, and an oven. So what you see me doing here is laying out the designs I want to use for the charms. Some of these are SVG files, picture files, and text. You can use whatever design software you're comfortable with, whether it's Cricut Design Space, Silhouette Studio, Microsoft Paint or Publisher, Photoshop, just about any program that you can print from will work. I'm using Silhouette Studio. Your design should be about four to four and a half inches big, but really it just depends on how big or small you want your charms. The paper will shrink when baking, so I think four inches is probably a good starting point just to see how you like it. Also, you'll need to be able to reduce the image opacity by about 20 to 30%. The colors darken as it bakes, so printing them a little bit lighter will make the colors come out good after baking. Now you're ready to print. Load your paper into the printer so that it prints on the frosted side. You may also need to adjust your print settings. My printer prints these best when I use the high resolution option. Now this next step is completely optional. I printed my design from Silhouette Studio using registration marks so that I could run it through my Cameo to give it a contour cut. The Cameo 2, Cameo 3, and Cricut Air will not cut through this material, but it will score it enough so that you have an outline or a guide for cutting. If you have the Cameo 4 or a Cricut Maker that can cut through thick objects, you may be able to cut through the shrink paper. Now that I have them scored, I'm using my scissors to cut them out. Be careful when cutting out really contoured designs because the paper can start to rip on its own and fall apart. Now using a baking sheet covered with a piece of non-coated baking paper, arrange your charms. Make sure not to put them too close together or they may get stuck when baking. Preheat your oven to 329 degrees and place the charms in for about one to two minutes. I like to watch them while they cook. After they flatten themselves back out, that's when I tend to take them out. Immediately after I take them out the oven, I cover with another sheet of baking paper and press them down to make sure that they're flat. The charm should now be a thick hard plastic ready to be resin. I'm setting the timer on my UV light for 60 seconds. Then I'm applying a layer of UV resin to each of the charms as evenly as possible. I'm letting each charm sit under the UV light for about two minutes. And we're almost done. This is what it looks like when it's finished curing. Now that the resin has hardened, we're ready to add the buckle buttons. The buckle buttons have a flat side and a domed shaped side. Glue the flat side of the buckle button to the back of the charm. and make sure to give it a good press so that it's on there securely.
And now your charms are done. Yay, how cute are these? All of the supplies used will be linked in the description box below. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll be sure to respond. And if you wanna see more creative tutorials and content, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching.